Hi there, I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation, and today on Habitat Hints, we're going to talk about planting a tree. When is the best time to plant the tree? When is not so a great time to plant the tree? We're about the right now this time of year is about the end of when you would like to plant a tree but i'm very grateful to be joined here by mdc's yvette ammerman she's going to show us how you can actually plant a tree and tell us about what you should do and go from there like when and why you should plant this time of year when you shouldn't plant so let's turn this around and talk about planting a tree all right, Yvette, we're talking planting trees today, and you're gonna show us how to do that, but first, tell us when is the best time to plant a tree? So, usually people wanna plant trees in the spring, and that's a great time to plant. It really depends on what part of the state you're in as far as when or how early in the season you can plant. In North Missouri, normally, um, I usually recommend mid-March through about mid-May. So it depends on if the ground still froze and when the weather turns right, but you're usually wanting to be finished, I usually say May 15th. The reason for that really is because usually by mid-May or late May, the rains have, the spring rains have kind of stopped. And so you wanna get your tree planted and have it, have a chance mm -hmm. to get some rain on it and then, and then get ready for summer. So usually I say, mid-spring so okay. that's a good time to plant your tree so to do this first you want to find a great location and yep. that's all going to depend on where your tree what kind of tree correct or right. where, how much yeah. sunlight so you're going to want to make sure if you're doing this in your yard that you call dig right and make sure you know where your utilities are underground as well as above ground and then you can you want to pick the right species of trees so a lot of people call me and then give me details on what kind of tree what the purpose is it for shade is it for wildlife is it for um you just want something flowering outside mm -hmm. your kitchen window so once i kind of know what kind of tree you're looking for then i can help you figure out do you want a really tall tree do you want an evergreen tree do you want something that has pretty flowers so first you know you need to pick what kind of species of tree you want and then make sure you've got the right location to plant it. And then we're gonna talk about how you actually do the planting. All right, so first and foremost, you pick your location, you make sure there's no utilities around, and you dig your hole, correct? Yep, yep, and pick your species. And so to dig the hole, a lot of people think they need a really deep hole, but what you need is a really wide hole that's fairly shallow. Okay. So, you can, usually I say you want it at least a minimum of two feet across, um, and that will help for a, for a small tree. The bigger the tree, the bigger the hole you need. So okay. we're starting out with a, a hole that's about two feet across or so. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the tree out of the pot. And so you're just gonna kind of roll it around and uh, mash it so that your tree will come out fairly easily. And then once you get it out of the pot, you're gonna want to, um, you, you don't wanna be super gentle with it, but you're gonna kinda rub all the dirt off at the top until you find, we're looking for the first decent size lateral root. So here's one right here. And so that root is the root that we want to be about a quarter inch below the surface of the soil. So this tree, when you look at that, doesn't need to be very deep. We're talking like less than a foot deep. So this root at the top is the one that we want to be just at the surface of the soil. So then the next thing you're gonna do is kind of break the dirt away. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times when they're in a pot, they're gonna be kind of compacted or the root systems are gonna be growing in a circle. And so I'll use a knife or, or a saw or anything, and I really just want to go around in a circle and cut the root system. Okay. And so you're gonna do that on about uh, probably four to six spots all the way around the tree. And, that, and then you're gonna kind of peel it, peel it apart. Okay. So we're gonna do that. And the point behind that is just... So we're finding that when tree roots start growing in a circle in a pot, yeah. a lot of times they won't ever stop. So they'll oh, wow. continue to grow in a circle and then eventually they'll choke the tree. So by cutting them because they've been in a pot and then kind of peeling them out, 
then the tree roots will actually start growing outward. Okay. So. So you do this and make sure you cut up a bunch of the yep, roots. Cut up a bunch of the small roots and kind of flare them outwards. And then also um, everywhere that you kind of cut, then that tree is going to start growing new roots okay. everywhere that you've kind of cut. So that's, that's really pretty good. Um, it's going to help them stimulate to start growing new roots. Gotcha. So and what, what tree is this? What type of tree is this? This is, is a uh, Schumard this? oak. Okay. And we got it from Forest Relief. Um, oh yeah. Out okay. of St. Louis. Yeah. So we had some, we had a project up here um, with the city of Kirksville and there were a few trees left over. And so this one looked like a great tree to put here at the office. Awesome. All right, so now I've kind of got them pulled apart, and so you're kind of rough with it. Yeah. And then, yeah, rougher than a lot of people are afraid they're going to hurt it. And then you're just going to set it in here and kind of look to see if, you know, if you need to add more dirt underneath or if that's going to be about at the height of where the soil is. So that one's just a little bit too deep or too shallow, I too mean. Too shallow, you need a little more. Yep. Needle just a little bit more room. I think that's gonna work really good. The other thing that's really important is to try to the best of your abilities to use the dirt that came out of the hole. Okay. And so you don't wanna add any potting soil or special dirt. We want this tree to learn how to grow in the environment that it needs to live in. And so no matter how good or bad your soil is in your yard, you want your tree to be able to survive there so just use the same dirt that you had and don't use you don't want to fertilize or do anything to your tree until it's been in the ground for about two to three years so no fertilizer it doesn't need anything special just break up the dirt that you took out of the hole stick it back in there if it has clods of dirt or grass or anything you can kind of turn those upside down Okay. And that'll kind of kill the grass. And then once you get your tree planted, mm -hmm. it's really important to use mulch and put a mulch ring around your tree. You really want um, your mulch ring to, it's kind of like an open donut. You want it flat about three inches or so deep or thick, but you don't want it to touch the bark of the tree. So it's like an open Okay. You want to, you don't want it up against the trunk because then that's a place where bugs and it'll stay too wet and kind of cause your um, bark, the bark to kind of rot. Okay. So uh, after that, you know, I see sometimes they have stuff that ties them to grow straight up. Yeah, is that something so, that they should have or is yeah, that something? Yeah, you don't really need to tie a tree. Um, we want it to blow in the wind as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And because when it blows in the wind, then it causes it to put out more root systems to hold itself up. Okay. So the more that it kind of sways in the wind, the better it's going to do at putting out its root system. And so unless there's a reason that your tree is like completely laid over or you're trying to keep kids off of it from playing like in a in a yard or at a playground i don't usually recommend that you tie up your tree at all okay or guy it or good yeah. good to know good to know so after you're done here i mean uh like you said after you're done here you get all the dirt back would you wet it down at yeah, all yeah well we've had rain here uh the last several days so um i wouldn't say that it needs watered um immediately but about once a week this tree, if it doesn't rain, would benefit from about a five gallon bucket full of water. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, mulch it, right? I and would mulch it, yep. And that's good. That keeps lawnmowers off of it and keeps you kind of away from the root system. Um, like I said, I would, I usually try to mulch the same size of the hole that I dug <coughs> so that it'll cover up the dirt. <coughs> Does the mulch help it also? <coughs> the mulch <coughs> the Dirt. mulch holds in the uh, moisture okay so it keeps it a little cooler so the roots don't get as hot and it holds in moisture when it rains awesome 
All right, I thank you very much, Yvette. If they want to get more information, where can they get that? Uh, if you go to the Department of Conservation's website and just uh, type in planting a tree, there's guide sheets on planting. There's guide sheets on um, purchasing right tree, right place, so that you can make certain that you're picking a good tree for the location. Um, and there's guide sheets on mulching. Awesome, awesome. Thank you very much, Yvette. I appreciate it. You all have a great rest of the day.